uh, it makes it a lot harder for somebody who some stuff shirt in the boardroom to say, well, I'm going out all this social media Facebook stuff, but I don't get it. Well, there's what's to get? Every person that signs up gives us two bucks. Is that cool? That's cool. Keep doing it. Keep up the good work, kid. Any other questions? I know this is drinking from the fire hose, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, my uh, my personal email address is t at czm dot co. Eight characters. It's easy. T at czm dot co. Um, if you have any questions, um, I'd be happy to try and help. Um, just put GDG in the subject and then whatever your question is, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. That's T at charliezeroblank dot charlie oscar. Uh, anything else? For those of you who are bored, <laughs> thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> if this hasn't been particularly interesting, yes? So, there are other competitors to Google. Yep. You can self-host an analysis system. Have you used anything else? Is uh, this like so much better, it's just the no-brainer? No yeah, uh, the name of it's on the tip of my tongue. It starts with a P. Um, So, I mean, the main, the main competitors to Google Analytics are obviously Adobe, which used to be Omniture, okay. um, Web Trends, which sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Web Trends, is this recorded? <laughs> um, and uh, Core Metrics. Um, the one, all of those use basically the same methodology, where they're all JavaScript based and they're sending a beacon mm -hmm. um, that sends information back. Uh, there is a, a server-side implementation for Google Analytics, and that server-side implementation, if you have to use something like that, it really just, come, it really just boils down to the, you know, sending an event back to the server and having the, the server craft a beacon and fire that beacon off you know, by proxy. Uh, there is a solution. It's an open source solution that one of my clients insisted that we use. I can't 